Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and welcome to The Cutting Room Floor. This is episode number 26. It's been a while, I know. We're coming to you live tonight from a deplorable (laughs) motel room somewhere in Alabama near Birmingham. And it's called the Quality Inn, by the way. Well, it it is an actual hotel chain, the Quality Inn. However, this one is lacking (laughs) the quality that I've seen at other Quality Inns. But I digress. Let's get into this video. Um, night vision. That's not night vision. Is it not? No, no, no. no. That's just a filter. Ah. That's a uh, a um, video, like a to make it look like a old videotape oh, or okay. something. So anyway, this is uh, this is Fort Armistead Park in Baltimore, which is a small plot of acreage next to the key bridge uh and then out in the water between the two sides is fort carroll which is like a fort you can see it from the uh shoreline at at, uh what is this fort Fort (laughs) (laughs) Armstead. you forget this place that we go to (laughs) so anyway uh when we got here Will was freaking out because yeah. he had he had spotted a gentleman <laughs> getting a a gentleman blowjob <laughs> in a parking lot. That's so gel- gentlemanly of him. Well, <laughs> um, he you're so loud on oh. this microphone. Well, that's your fault. You did it. Okay, here we go. There you are. Turn me down. Okay, so. Will was freaking out. I'm sorry we sound so tired because we're like, we've been driving. Yeah. We drove 10 it's hours eight out, 10 hours? Yeah, it was 10. Um, well, I was freaking out because you also, Dan didn't tell me anything about what this place was until when we were going there. And he's like, oh yeah, a lot of, there's a lot of drug dealers and, <laughs> and people here. So that's why I was pretty I didn't say out. that there were drug dealers. Drug dealers are not going to hang out at you this You said park. people were selling, sell, sold drugs here. Um, I mean, they may, but I know people go here and do drugs. Yeah. But I got the idea to go to the catacombs from your dad, who's a regular. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the regular um, trolls that go down there and trolls. searches for anonymous sex. <laughs> um, no, I... Uh, I uh, I don't remember. A lady contacted me who's like a ghost hunter or she's into ghosts. And she was like, oh, you got to go to Fort Armstead. So that's how I got the idea. I remembered it because I had been here. I, I went here when I was a kid. Um, And a couple people have, con- you know, they, well, people have commented on the video and said, you know, like, uh, um, <laughs> one lady said, uh, what did she say? Uh, she said, y- you guys are just making it out to be scarier than it actually is. <laughs> She's like, I-, I live 10 minutes from there and there's nothing scary about that place. And I'm thinking to myself, 10 minutes radius around anywhere around Fort Armstead is like scary. Like, I mean, like the people, everything is like <laughs> everyone down there is scary. So... I, it's just, it's a horrible place. I mean, it was bad when I was a kid. When I was a kid, they used to have, like, medical waste on the beach. I remember that. And, like, they had, uh, there were always, like, piles of needles on the beach. And you would see people swimming, which I didn't understand. Like, people would be out there (laughs) swimming in this filthy... (laughs) Needle-infested water. Well, I think the water's cleaner now, but back then it was, like... I mean, it was disgusting. Yeah. I think ships were, like, dumping their shit in the water, and... I mean, it was gross. Well, I mean, when we pulled up, there was people fishing. So, I mean, I would hope it's a little bit cleaner. Well, the fish, I mean, that's not going to make any difference. But if there, People are crabbing here. Oh, they're crabbing. Yeah, they're out on that dock tying fly ridden uh, chicken legs 
to a uh, string, and then they drop them down in the water. And it, and then the crabs come and start eating the chicken wing. Mm-hmm. And then you take a basket. You slowly pull the string up. You'll feel if there's a crab on it. Mm-hmm. You slowly pull it up, and then when it gets to the surface, you'll see the crab, and then you real quickly go in with the with the net and, and grab, grab the, the crab. Cra- grab the crab. But I imagine crabs out of there are good. Yeah. The worse the water is, the better the crabs oh, taste. Oh, yeah, they're eating all the uh, Yeah, they're eating stuff. like bodies and poop and everything <laughs> else that's in the water there. If you eat crabs, you also eat it's humans. It's delicious. It's delicious. But, um... This is the first catacomb that we went in, but this one is only one room. But we did this remember we heard that weird noise. We heard that like uh, it sounded like a, a golf ball. Oh yeah, was like oh that's what I thought it was. <laughs> somebody threw a golf. Ball I thought at it us. somebody like <laughs> <laughs> like four. <laughs> but this um, I don't know. You were really creeped out here. I, I was super creeped out. Well, because the the biggest thing was the whole one way out thing. We go into these catacombs, and if someone comes in, we have to go. We pass them. There, uh, there's one way out. Well, that's why I did the thing where we. I just said, turn the lights out and be quiet for a minute. Yeah. Because I wanted to hear if there was anybody coming. Now we heard people in the woods walking away, but mm-hmm. the, you know that was because we had lights. They didn't want anything to do with us. No. I just thought it was a nice, creepy location to go at night. Oh, definitely. And I, mean, I really don't understand people saying that we're playing it up. Like, no, I, no, I do. I mean, I get what they mean, but I, I mean, that's your fault, not mine. Oh, that's my fault. Now, this is all genuine. I was pretty creeped out the entire you time. You were, like, ridiculous on this trip, almost to a point where I wanted to strangle you. <laughs> but, uh, no, Will was scared and, like,. Yeah, I, re- I really like, didn't... He, I like when we, like, go down that one tunnel, and we turn around to go down to the other end, and you run out the door. And I go out, yeah. And even in the part when I, when I said with the with the golf club, or with the golf ball, uh-huh. you literally run away. Yeah, we're in the woods at midnight. This is not the woods, by the way. Okay, it's somewhat the woods. This is, like, just... it. It's a seedy place... Where we have a lot of equipment, and <laughs> I'm not worried. All right, you're the one who worries. I'm I'm not worried here. Oh, you were worried. You were just less worried because I was more worried than you. Well, because you were having like a mental breakdown. <laughs> I was just like, what is wrong? I mean, it was like you just panicking. <laughs> Every time I turn around, you're like uh, twenty, thirty feet behind me, ready to run. I'm like, what are you doing? Yes, because if there's someone in these places, the people we don't want to run into, I'm going to run well, there away. Well, wa- there was somebody in there. Oh, yeah. Luckily, he didn't come out with a knife or something. He didn't have a knife. It, he was probably a homeless person. Probably. I always think of the worst things that can happen. That's why I'm scared when we do some of these things. But, I mean, what do you think could happen? Uh, Somebody comes out and, and robs does, us, and d- harms us somehow. First of all, the lights that we have on our cameras would would stall that process pretty quickly. We'd have we'd ha- we'd have time to do something before anybody could think of you know to do anything because those lights are bright. You can't yeah. you can't see if it's it's dark down there. If those lights are in your face, you can't see anything. Mm-hmm. Second of all, there was nobody down there. No, but I didn't know the that. The guy in the back was a little creepy, though. I mean, I, I didn't see his face. I only saw his shoulder. And he was wearing a jacket that looked like he had been sleeping out in the woods with it. Um, but I don't know what the guy looked like. I just saw his shoulder. And then he moved a little bit over to the... Let me think. To his left... He moved a little bit over, and then I moved a little bit over to my left to see what he was, what, you know, I was like, th- thinking maybe he'll come out and talk. Yeah. But I always, and then I saw his shoulder again, but I always regret this afterward, that I didn't just say, screw it, and go down and go just down. 
get a shot of him or at, or just go up and say hey i'm coming in what are you doing or you know that yeah. kind of thing but he was probably he didn't probably maybe didn't have a light i don't know i mean i don't know how did you just sit back there in the dark but, but, well homeless people use this i mean i don't know about homeless i'm just like bums and stuff would yeah. be here um when i was a kid they would camp out inside of the tunnels so they'd have like their houses set up in this oh yeah thing. yeah they weren't the tunnels weren't as bad when you were a kid like this oh no they were bad yeah i only went here once or twice when i was a kid and i was fascinated by it and i wanted to go into the tunnels but um my father wouldn't let me do it and then um uh we um i'm trying to remember if uh but what happened was there was a whole collection of bums. You see these um, right here. There's the metal. Yeah, bolts. they they use. Yeah. So they kicked all the homeless people out of this fort. I should say structure or whatever, and then they uh, sealed it off mm-hmm. with fencing and everything else. So for a time, you couldn't get couldn't in. Even get in there. Yeah, at you all. couldn't go near it. Uh, but then eventually, it all went downhill. And they used to have a rave here called starscape i think it was really called. inside of the, the no, no no not the tunnels but in the park Oh, okay and then i know bill clinton visited the park in like the 90 when he was president uh-huh. and they went in and like redid the entire park and made it clean and i think they oh, painted wow. the fort for bill clinton to make it look nice yeah i think they did that i doubt I doubt he went into the tunnels to go <laughs> walk around and see stuff. But, um... A little bit about, um... What's coming up on the channel. We have a... I have a lot of stuff coming up. Um... But basically, I just wanted to take a little break. A little breather. Before I started kind of doing you know back on track doing videos again and that was kind of you know where i've been um but you know for people who are wondering you know what's going on i mean i'm just work i'm i'm now currently working on the new series that we're going to premiere um i'm gonna say the beginning of august But before then, we're going to have videos. So we have videos every Friday from now on. And we'll keep up with the cutting room floors. We didn't get to talk about the gross condom. I'm trying to, like, (laughs) not focus on that because it's disgusting. (laughs) It's so disgusting. I'm just glad we used it. Oh, yeah. You know? (laughs) You know? You gotta be safe. Yeah. I'm glad we used that condom. <laughs> and left it there for everyone to see. <laughs> you guys want to go? We left. Our used condom is there. Everyone. You can take it. <laughs> Dan Bell's semen. <laughs> it's available. Dan Bell's used condom. I'm putting this on eBay. Please. Run. Don't wa- walk. Do not run. <laughs> to Fort Armistead. <laughs> to one of the rooms. <laughs> You'll find it next to the hole that had snot coming out of it. Ugh. Is that snot? I didn't think that was snot. You're so stupid. <laughs> you said somebody like, was having you're sex. Like, Do you with think the someone hole? fucked the hole? They might have. There's some crazy bums. Um. Well, I, I'm not even going to respond. <laughs> so stupid. Here we here we are with the. Uh, Is this the gentleman in the coat? Yeah. Yeah. This place is so nasty. It's like the floors. It's like every puddle. Yeah. It's just like urine. Ugh. And then the whole time, I just feel like I have a needle in my boot. No, I know how you feel. Because yeah. I... When, um, it. I mean, it's like one of our common things... Whenever you go to a place and there's, like, needles, especially, like, that hospital in Brinkley. Oh, God, yeah. All those needles on the floor. It doesn't matter what... I will start having, like, psychosomatic... Yeah. Like, you're like, I know it, I feel something in my foot. Yeah, I'll feel, like, something pinching my my toe or something. And I'm... You know, we're wearing boots. Yeah. 
uh, I like when we were at the hospital, <laughs> Pringle. <laughs> and I said, I said, I've got to take my shoe off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like pulling my shoes off in this old operating room. <laughs> Because I felt something in my shoe, and there really was something. It was a big piece of glass. There was well, there was sticking into my foot. At least it wasn't the needle. And I, th- I said, "Oh my god, I'm I just stepped on a needle." Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> but you know, those needles are so old. They probably yeah. There's nothing in them. Tetanus I mean, maybe. Yeah, you just get a tetanus shot. Yeah, you probably would be fine. So next time we'll just sit. I just want to take my um, pants off. And you'll sit on the bare needles. ass. I want to sit on a pile of needles. <laughs> I'll film it and it'll be in the video. I like this disgusting room here. I don't yeah. know why it looks like they people just throw their trash down the. Yeah, doesn't that almost look like uh, like a like a crypt, or is that the right word, or like a tomb? Um, where the trail, the trash. Yeah, is. it looks like a colonoscopy <laughs> um it yeah it does a little bit it does look like a tomb but th- this place is awful yeah this room wasn't terrible i don't think it was though. bad i don't think it was i don't feel like it was maybe as bad as the meat factory really i don't know it's hard to say for me it definitely was worse than the meat factory the meat factory, once we got in, I just felt like it was just us. Most of the time. This, I was much more worried about other people. I didn't feel that way at the meat factory. After we were here at this, at the fort in the catacombs for 20 minutes, I'm like, there's nobody here. Yeah. And, but at the meat factory, I didn't feel... I always felt like there was somebody coming or... It, it was just so big. Yeah. You can't... I mean, you can't... Um, tell if somebody's on the way you know that's true so it's it's very scary i feel like we're so off on this this recording <laughs> yeah. we're both so tired we we've just driven the whole day let's do commentary well we need to get videos done very true you know here's some more garbage more this is i didn't this was the most gross part to me it was walking through oh is this the water yeah yeah well, if you had just um, taken your shoes off, <laughs> oh yeah, and tiptoed through the puddle, got my feet a little wet, you would have been just fine. Once you get sick from that stuff, you can't even feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> you get sick from it once, and that's I wanna, all you need. I want to. I want to. I want to. Um, Step on nails. <laughs> Shoes on. <laughs> Any sharp thing we find, Dan's just, gonna stick it in himself yeah. somewhere. And then I want to, I want to um, clean my feet in that puddle <laughs> with that mildew, water, and pee. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I want to take care of my feet in the puddle, <laughs> in the pee pee puddle <laughs> with poo poo. <laughs> And everything else that's in there. Uh, you know Dion DiMucci. This is so... What is this? Dion. Dion, who sings um, Run Around Sue. Is that him? Oh, really? Why was that... Why did somebody do that? I don't get it. I, I really don't know. Maybe Dion DiMucci has a son. <laughs> that likes to spray paint? <laughs> 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 He's like, De- Papa, you'll never guess what I did for you. Well, yes, am- son. I spray painted your linear notes <laughs> on a wall in an old fort. Aren't you proud of me, Daddy? <laughs> son, what were you doing down there? Do you have anything you want to tell me? Son. <laughs> Oh my god, we are I'm <laughs> I'm a little loopy. Just a tiny bit. Here we are walking back. This is very dramatic. Oh. Conclusion. Um this ended up on the Baltimore Reddit. Oh yeah. A lot of people told me about that. They're like, Oh, it ended up on the Baltimore Reddit. I said I I wish I cared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for telling me something that I don't care about. Yeah, and then again from the Reddit people, it was, what's wrong with these guys? There's nothing scary. Oh, we're just making a living. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's all we're doing. You go to work in the morning. Do this I tell is our you? Work. Do I tell you you're an idiot? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm out making money doing this shit. When you get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, do I scream at you? <laughs> do I call you names? No. <laughs> what the hell are you talking I don't about? Know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's that cocaine we just did. Oh, yeah. Go it's got my... Grinding my teeth as we speak. We need to go get more after that this. Alabama meth. <laughs> Alabama. We just went to a, a gas station. To it was called Kangaroo. Kangaroo. We hopped over like we were in <laughs> the outback, <laughs> and we went in. And there was a lady that got out of a pickup truck who looked like um. She, I mean, she, I, the only thing I could, she looked like Eileen Mornos, the serial killer, the oh, highway her, hooker, yeah, yeah. serial killer. So, um, anyway, she's walking in, she looked down and there was a penny and a cigarette butt and she picked them both up <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, she's going to keep the penny for good luck and then throw the cigarette butt in the trash. She didn't do that. <laughs> she put it in her pocket. <laughs> Why? Because she's going to smoke it later. She needs her nicotine fix. Yeah, even if it's just... At that point, don't you quit? If you're smoking butts off the ground. Yeah. I mean... I would quit. Maybe. Oh, well, you look so dashing here. Oh, thank you. Gosh. Uh, While I'm putting my pepper spray away. We should have peddled your ass all over that parking lot. Oh, should have knocked on that guy's window. Hi. Hey, you want an extra? Hi, I'm Will. <laughs> my name's Willie. <laughs> Willie. You want to touch my Willie? Hi, I'm Willie. <laughs> I'm making a movie. <laughs> Call me names, please. <laughs> put put this on Reddit. <laughs> I want to be insulted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making a living. I can't help it. <laughs> I, what am I supposed to do? Anyway, Drip. Amazing. Drip. Good music, Drip. I love Drip so much. He's so good. So talented. Such a talented young man. <laughs> very, very talented. Anyway, you guys. This was the most loopy one we've ever done. No, it isn't. Is it not? No. There's been... Uh, remember the one we did? Um... Uh, never. <laughs> We're running out of time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> this is stupid.